All right, this is just a quick introduction to Illustrator. I'm just going to show you a little bit around uh, how to navigate through it and how to open up a project for the first time. So what you're going to do, just start out uh, like what you'd be seeing. You just come up to Illustrator, go into File, and you go into New. Okay. So once you're in here, uh, up here there's a name that you want to give it. So you just give it name. We'll call it Test. Uh, number of artboards, we're not going to worry about that in this module. Uh, the width and the height is just the size of the piece of uh, work that you want to be working with. If you want an 8.5 by 11, easiest thing to do is just come here to size and just go to letter. Uh, that'll give you an 8.5 by 11. Uh, you can type it in, which is just fine, but that's just an option for it. Just go ahead and click OK. And then you have a, your little piece of, it's called your artboard right here. So. Just kind of looking through it real quick, we have this toolbar over here on the left-hand side. This is probably one of the tools that you, you will use the most, which is why it's at the very top, just a selection tool. You have the direct selection tool, which we may also use a little bit in this module. We're not going to worry about the magic wand or the lasso. The pen tool is here. It's the fourth one down. This is the tool that we're going to be learning as we go throughout Illustrator and just learning how to use the pen tool to make a vector graphic. All right, so then you got the type tool, which we're probably not going to be doing as well in this. Uh, the line segment tool, the sh shape tool, you may be able to start using this after you start using the pen tool, because that's once you know the pen tool, this is really easy. And then the rest of these tools, we're not really going to use too much, uh, except for down here at the very bottom. Now, this is where you get the colors. Right here, this little icon that you can see here in the corner, that is for uh, the default. And right here, you have the fill and you have the stroke. So I'm just going to do this real quick. I'll just pull a rectangle up, just draw a rectangle, OK? If we go back up here to the direct selection tool, and then just select off, you can see that we have a box that has a black stroke with white on the inside. And you can tell that because when you click on it, and you have these squares up in the corner and on the sides, you will see that the fill has a white spot and then the stroke has black. So stroke is on the right and fill is on the left. Okay. If you wanted to change the fill color, you double click on it and you can choose orange. You can come up here to green, to blue, purple, you get darker, you get lighter, whichever one you want. And then you just click OK. And now we have a purple rectangle with a black stroke around it. If you want to change the stroke, just come down here, click stroke, make sure that it's on top. Double click that, and you can give it a different color, like yellow. Okay? You can't really see that too well because it's really small. Just come up here to this top menu, and where it says stroke, just hit that up a couple notches. All right, so now we just got a quick shape on there. That's pretty easy. And so with the direct selection tool, you can select it and you can also drag it around, which you're going to be using quite a bit in this module. And so that's pretty much uh, all that I wanted to show you. Uh, we can come up here, file, then you could save. And by default, it will save it as an Adobe Illustrator file because it's just a vector graphic. All right.